Hey guys, so Thursdays are usually adult discipleship days on Calvary's Facebook page. And um, in weeks past, Drew has come on and given us a little blog post. I hope you guys have enjoyed those. He's given us a lot of good info and good resources. Um, but today he asked me to come on. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit and do a video. Um, and I had gotten a little sneak peek of our 30 days of prayer. And tomorrow's topic is thankfulness. And I am right now reading a book by James Byron Smith called The Good and Beautiful God with the book club, with the ladies. And our soul training for the week happens to be thankfulness. So I feel like maybe God is telling me something um, and working on my heart a little bit through this weird time um, and letting me know how important thankfulness is to my life relationship with him. So in James Bryan Smith's book, I'm going to read you a little bit of um, a quote. Um, he quotes George Buttrick, which um, was a preacher in New York in the last century. So um, he says, a lecturer to a group of businessmen displayed a sheet of white paper in which was one blot. He asked what they saw. All answered a blot. The test was unfair and invited the wrong answer. Nevertheless, there was an ingratitude in human nature by which we notice the black disfigurement and forget the widespread mercy. We need to deliberately call to mind the joys of our journey. Perhaps we should try to write down the blessings of one day. We might begin, but we could never end. There are not pens or paper enough in all the world. The attempt would remind us of our vast treasure of content. And James Bryan Smith goes on to say, our troubles are real but they are small compared to God's widespread mercy. As Buttrick said, the more we are able to see just how many blessings we have been given, given freely and undeserved, the more we will be able to see that God is out for our good. And there are so many times in my life where I feel like I am completely focused on that black dot and I miss the widespread mercy. So something that I've done since I read the book the first time. This is actually my second time reading the book. Um, since I read the book the first time is I have a thankfulness journal that I write in almost every day. And um, I wanted to let you guys know that this is nothing fancy. Like it's one word usually. It's nothing eloquent. Um, it's just what pops into my head to be thankful for that day. Um, and I mean, my notebook is nothing fancy. I have this one here that my friend <laughs> Hallie made for me. It's just a plain brown little journal that she made pretty for me. So you guys don't, it doesn't have to be like, I'll let you um, be free of thinking that it has to be hand lettered and beautiful and in this beautiful journal. Just go and get yourself any notebook you have. Rip out what you've had in there before and just use the pages that are left. Um, and I guarantee you, it will change your focus. It changes my focus from that black dot, from the hard um, that's going on in the life, in my life, from the coronavirus, <laughs> you guys. So it changes my focus from that to my, my good and beautiful God, my big God who cares so much for me and he cares so much for you too. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm praying for you. Praying through the 30 days of prayer, please jump on if you haven't started that yet. It's okay. You can go back um, and go through the days that we've done before, or you can just start where we're at, which I think is day 15. So in the middle is an okay place to start. Um, go ahead and pray those prayers and, and um, know that he's close to you. We love you so much, um, guys, and we just can't wait to be with you. Um, and start those prayer journals or those thankful, well, prayer journals too, but start those thankfulness journals. <laughs> It'll change your focus.